Oh my God. This is really high up here, man. Wow. This is their office. <laughs> what an amazing office to have. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paul. Labor Day is coming. It's a holiday celebrated by workers all around the world. And many netizens might be curious about Chinese workers. What is their work environment like? So today I've come to the construction site of the mega project here in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, the Shenzhong Link. Come along with me and let's discover together how these men and women put in a good day's work. Ah, ni hao. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, all right, hey, all right, thank you very much. Thanks so much. The Shenzhong Link is a gigantic sea crossing cluster of different projects, including bridges, tunnels, islands, and underwater connectivity. The entire length is about 24 kilometers, with four lanes of traffic in each direction for a total of eight lanes on the crossing. At its peak, there were over 10,000 workers participating in the construction of this project, and it is scheduled to be open in 2024. The construction site for the pylons and the main anchors, the West Island, and other key structures are way out here at sea. And even the workers' living platform is out here as well. And today, I have come to the West Pylon of the Lingding Young Bridge. According to the staff, there are over 1,000 workers here on the offshore platform. In order to enable them to be able to see a doctor, the offshore health clinic was established. Let's go check this out. And here we have Dr. Xu from the uh, Zhongshan Nanlong Hospital. And uh, he is the resident doctor and is uh, always on call and ready available to assist any of the workers should they need it. The offshore clinic is furnished with common medicines and medical devices, including automatic external defibrillators. The medical staff for the offshore platform provides workers with health consultations, basic science knowledge, diagnosis and treatment, and other services. So these workers will wake up at about 5.40 in the morning to begin their day. They assemble at 6.20 and then go up to work. They'll return here at about 11 o'clock for lunch, and after a little bit of rest, at 1.30 in the afternoon, it's back to the construction set. Now is a special treat, I'm actually gonna to get to take the elevator here at the main pylon of the Lin Ning Young Bridge. The tower is about 270 meters high, so the elevator is 270 meters high, and it takes about seven minutes to reach the top. Ah, ni hao, hello. All right. Hello. Hi, hello, good to see you, hi. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Oh my God. This is really high up here, man. Wow. Okay, now I come to the top of this pylon where the workers are gonna start to go down the catwalk and uh, get some work done. And I'm gonna follow them. All right. Wow, look at that. What an incredible sight. These guys right here are installing some of the rollers at the very, very top of this pylon. This is where the giant steel cables kind of wrap over the tower on both sides. Okay, now I'm about to step onto this catwalk which is made of like a metal mesh. It's about 4.1 meters wide and about 3,000 meters at its, uh, at its biggest length. The Ling Ding Young Bridge is the world's largest steel girder suspension sea bridge in the world. And the towers are about 270 meters into the air. This catwalk that connects the two towers and the anchor points is made of a steel mesh construction with this anti-skid wood, making it very convenient for the workers to carry out high altitude operations. At its lowest point, it's about 105 meters from the ocean, making it about the same size of a 40-story building. 
That's high. It's a little windy and shaky up here, but it's sturdy and safe. These workers have been well trained beforehand, carrying out drills to prevent accidents such as falling. And they continuously operate these, uh, these drills here on the site, increasing their safety awareness. As you can see, they can move very confidently up and down this catwalk. And if they get a little tired, they can have a little rest in safety. So in this heat at the top here, it can get really, really hot for the workers. So they have this uh, rest box up here on the top of the pillar and it's air conditioned. Come on in. Ah, anyhow guys, hello guys. Hello, we'll do this away. Okay. So in here, they'll even have ice cream and popsicles for the workers, <laughs> just so they can cool down. And it's quite nice in here. They on quiet. So you must be curious about how the workers enjoy a little entertainment after a hard day's work. Well, in addition to uh, watching movies, a little karaoke, playing some ping pong and working out, one of their favorite things to do is to play basketball on their full-size court here. And yes, they've invited me to join them. <laughs> ah! Ah! Ba 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 that was fun. Uh, cheers. <laughs> All right. Huh? Oh, you want me to try it? Oh, okay. I try it. Okay. Ah. <laughs> it's a little tickle. It's a little tickle. Oh, that was the lowest setting. Okay. Each batch of workers will have up to three hours of training and experience here before going on duty. Here they'll have safety, first aid, firefighting, confined space, balance beam, and even whole falling experiences. These are also regular classes for workers. All the learning and experience <laughs> are designed to enable workers to carry out construction safety in accordance with the regulations. Wow, I'm gonna have a try. Today was a very special day. I got to experience the living and working conditions of all the workers here at the Shenzhong Link. It is men and women like these who have the dedication and hard work to create such magnificent, gigantic, and spectacular projects such as this. And here I would like to thank all the workers here at the Shenzhong Link for their hospitality today, and I'm looking forward to its completion in 2024.